and why do narcissistic people project their fears onto their victims? Narcissistic people tend to have a cluster of traits from their self-centeredness to their need of admiration to their exploitation, their lack of empathy and their sense of entitlement. And one reason why a narcissist will project their fears onto you is so that they can feel better about themselves. They can do the whole, see, it's not me, it's you that's the problem. So they lack the self-awareness and they don't have to go and work on themselves. Instead, they play the victim and blame you for causing all their problems. Narcissistic people will project their fears onto you. So one of a narcissist's fear is that isolation, being excluded, things that we can all fear. However, a genuine person who fears being excluded, who fears isolation, would not exclude another person because they have the empathy to relate to how that might feel. Narcissistic people lack the empathy to relate how that might feel. They just care about themselves they don't want to be excluded, they don't want to be isolated, therefore if they can manipulate others into becoming dependent on them, if they can manipulate others into isolating themselves from people so that they've only got the narcissist for support, this ensures that that person will be a constant presence in the narcissist's life. Rejection and abandonment. We can all fear rejection. It's not very nice being rejected and we have to recognise that sometimes we've not been rejected, we've just been redirected. It's not nice being abandoned when you believe something so passionately about somebody and had a strong desire to create life with them and then they just up and leave you. When it comes to narcissistic people, they dread rejection and abandonment and in order to shield themselves they make their victims fear rejection by dismissing their thoughts feelings and opinions by ghosting them by falling silence on them by finding new supply and upping and leaving them so that they can blame their victim for being the problem so that they don't have to recognize their own issues criticism and humiliation. Narcissistic people are very fearful of ridicule and criticism. Even constructive feedback offends them. Criticism is not nice. Not many people enjoy it and genuine people tend to have the empathy to put things in a way that's going to support a person and not hurt a person. Narcissistic people will belittle you, humiliate you, criticise you and then turn around and claim that they were only joking and it's your perfectly normal emotional reaction to their action that's the problem rather than dealing with their actions. Narcissistic people tend to fear failure because they want to be perceived as perfect. They see failure as a threat to their perfectly crafted image that they are selling to those around them and in order to escape their fear of failure they are going to project that fear over to those around them they are going to create the illusion that somebody else is incompetent that somebody else is inadequate to make themselves look superior. They're very arrogant so they will go all out to make sure that they believe they know everything and everyone around them believes they know everything by dismissing everybody else, by pointing out other people's faults, flaws and mistakes. Loss of control. Narcissistic people have an intense desire to control those around them. Now it's, it's not nice to lose control of ourselves and a narcissistic person will go all out to provoke you so that you emotionally react and explode out of them so that you lose control of yourself and then they blame you for your reactions so that they don't have to face any consequences of their actions. Narcissistic people need control as a defence mechanism so that they're not exposed to those around them. 
yet they want to paint out that you're the one that can't control yourself so that they can remain in control over you. And loss of attention. Narcissistic people need that attention and validation to fuel their self-worth, to validate that they were in the right and it was the other person that was in the wrong and that they don't make mistakes. And they're going to go all out to neglect you, to withhold attention, affection and support from you. They're going to go all out to invalidate you so that you feel narcissistic in some way because you begin craving that attention from them, craving that validation from them. As after all, when you are pleasing them, they will shower you with that attention, affection and support just to take it away from you, to punish you so that they can coercively control you.